a re I'm starting a recording right now, and I'm recording uh, screen number two, which I'll uh, put up here in just a moment so that you can see it too. Bing, bing, bing. And I need to get into the VMware. So here we go. Okay, so here's the goal. Um, we've got lift calcs being done. Uh, but we also want to look at the stress on the wing. Okay, and so I'm going to show you how to do that stress on the wing. I'm going to pull this over, and I'm just going to I'm just going to download one of the wings, and uh, and then we'll put it in there, and we'll talk about how we're going to do this. So, airfoil probably it no that's not it okay and so we're going to use IPTs okay that's a inventor file which one have we done this 009 0009 I think okay that's not come on Donald hold on making my dog be quiet Actually, I'm not making him be quiet. I'm just closing my door. So here's the download of it. This is an IPT, so we should be able to just uh, put that part in here and look at it. And where did it just go? Here it is. It's loading itself up. There it goes. So that's what it looks like, right? So there's the IPT. And we know, and this is just going to be the starting one. This will get more as we go. As we do it parametrically and make this move longer and longer and longer, you're going to find that it changes drastically, right? Because it's going to, stresses are going to go with the square of how long it is. But for right now, we're going to pretend that this part is attached to the wing. And that somewhere in the middle here, there is, we're going to call it a point force, although I think we could probably put um, a pressure on the top. But we're just going to put a point force on here for the lift. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is have a spot that I can, that I can put the lift. So I'm going to start my sketch, and I'm going to go to that plane. And I, it doesn't have to be in exactly the middle. Uh, am I in a sketch? Wait a second. Start sketch. Why is that not? There it goes. Um, and I'm just going to put a tiny little dot somewhere in the middle here. So if I just draw a line. And I make a little circle on it. There's the midpoint of the line. And if I need to be able to see that's in my view, I can change it to wireframe. Now I can see my line. Back to 3D model. Uh, back to my sketching environment, which is, where is my sketching? There it is, sketching environment. And I'm just going to put a little circle it doesn't have to be very big. It doesn't have to be any particular size. So I'll just make it four because it's just a spot to poke a load into it. And now I'm going to extrude that so it comes out the top just a little bit. Pick both halves of it and I'll make it come out like four inches. There, I've got a little flat spot showing. If I need to make it more, I can, of course, if I need to make it farther, I can edit, not the sketch, sorry. I can edit the extrusion to be longer, 4.5, something like that. Now I have a spot that I can attach my force to. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my other view. To shaded so that I can see shaded with edges. Mm 
There we go. So basically, the first step is to put a little dot right in the middle. Okay, and then you can save this as 009 stress analysis so that you've got one that you can always go back to. Then we're going to go to a simulation. Okay, so I'm going to simulate with a new one and um, just say yes. And I'm not sure what kind of material we want right now, but it's probably going to be some sort of aluminum. So our override will be aluminum. 6061 AHC is a, is a good one. So we'll use 6061 AHC. And then I'm going to fix that whole end where it's attached to the airplane. And then I'm going to put, let's see what happens if I put a pressure on it. No, it's putting it all over it. So I'm going to put, that's why I wanted this force. I want a force right there. And I don't know yet. We're going to play around with the force. Um, but we're going to call it the 100%. So I'll call it a 100. Okay, and then I'll simulate. And um, I'll look, let's look at safety factor is the thing that we're going to look at safety factor. So this one, 100 is too small because everything is perfectly safe. Okay. <laughs> and, and my lift is actually, um, I'm actually pushing down on it instead of going the other direction. If I want to redo this, let me go ahead and double click that force and say it's minus 100. Not sure it'll let me do that. No, nope. I have to leave it at 100 and switch the direction. Now I really have a lift, right? Okay. Yeah. Would it matter if that lift was on the point on the top of the wing or if it was on the bottom pushing up the wing? Not, not for the stress. The stress doesn't matter where the load is, and this is going to be an average all the way across like right here there's very little and out here there's a lot right of of it it's it's um force times distance from the plane that you're working in so this is this is a representation but again you see i don't have enough i want to get i want to get more on there so i'm going to go change that force um, yeah, I think it's going to be even maybe more than that. Let's go with, let's go with a thousand All right. and just see and re-simulate because I need to get to a spot. A thousand is good because it's really easy to, um, okay, well, that's too much because I got where I don't, my max. Oh, that's stress. Where's my safety factor? It's still all blue. This is really incredible. <laughs> um, so, and I don't know the size of any of this, so we're just playing around right now. Also, I have another question. Yeah. Uh, when we start attaching uh, different sections to make the wing longer, is it going to act as a whole wing, or will it have uh, just the borders where it Wow, I tell you, this thing is just way, way, way too strong. Um, it's probably because it's a solid part. Um, no, um, you're talking about the stress at this point. So whatever happens out here, this should move to the halfway point always as we go out. But we'll worry about that one next. Let me... Um, 
Let me finish that one up. And I just want to, um, that's not what I want to do. I want to, hold on a sec, where is it in here? Shell this. I want to shell this. And I'll remove that. That face. That's because this thing is huge, I can tell. This thing is really big, which is why that load has to be so big. Now I've got a hollow wing, which is more, more like it, right? So let's go back. So number one is put this thing on. Number two is hollow it out. Then we'll go to our stress analysis. And... Let's see. I've still got aluminum 6061. I'm going to fix that. Now that's the that's the surface where I've got my stuff. And let's do another simulation and see what it what it looks like. I still may need to make these numbers bigger. This I think this is big. <laughs> bigger than I thought okay now I've got now I've got a safety factor 1.87 min okay so that's what we're gonna want to do and then I don't care what number you put on here so long as at the 100% okay 100% you're going to get a 1.87. I want it between 1 and 3. Okay? Between 1 and 3. So keep adjusting this until it's between 1 and 3. Now we have our percent loads to do, right? So this would be for a 100% load. So what would I put on this load? I just double-clicked on it. What would be a 90% load? Yep. And I... The thickness of the window? No, I'm going to keep the shell the same. The structure is the same. And so now I've got a 0.02 min. Okay? So I think that other one was probably... Man, it makes such a difference. So let's get that first safety factor way up. Wow, this is really... Okay, I see what's going on there. <clears throat> we may have to we may have to redo this model a little bit. And that's why I want to get on with you and kind of play with this and see what's going on. So, cuz that's really it's it's not acting as the integral. It's all setting right there. Let me see what happens. What if we made that point less to the right of the door? Would it still be the same? No, that doesn't that that actually doesn't do anything. What I want to do is get it so that I can I can get a a surface load on here. Let's see what happens if I get rid of this. I can delete that one. Somehow I want to get a surface load on it if I can. A pressure load, but I only want it on the top. See how it's, see how it's doing the whole thing? So I think what I need to do is put some sort of a break in it. So here's the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to start a sketch on this face. And I'm just going to put the tiniest little break in it. Won't, won't really affect. See how I've done that? Yeah. And I've come over here and I'm going to do the same thing over here.
And if I extrude those out, I'm thinking And I'll turn them around and extrude them the other way. So I'm going to extrude them the other way, and I'm going to go through all. Then I think it's going to make, then maybe it'll make that a solid thing. Now let's see what happens if I put a pressure on it. Yep, there we go. There, now I've got a pressure on it over that whole thing. It's going to be a better simulation. Let's just see what happens now. That looks more like it, doesn't it? That's what the wing should be doing. Only problem is it's staying down below also. Let's see. No, that's what it's doing. See how it's kind of like just shifting up overall? It's a really interesting one. Okay, so that gives us a 1.48 minimum. Let's get that up to like a um, 3 or a 4. So we're going to go back to the pressure, just double click on it, and again, we'll make it a minus 20. And we'll do that run. So there's some playing around to get our baseline correct, is what we're looking for. Okay, uh, well, 0.74. Didn't we make that make that pressure bigger? Oh, yeah, we needed to make it smaller. Sorry, because this is our max, right? So I see now I'm going totally the wrong way. We want to start with our 10% condition. Here we go in our minus 10. Okay, 1.48. So that's going to be our... 100% load, right? Now, at 90% of that force, we should now get a better one, right? So that was at... At minus 9, we should get a better safety factor. One point six five. Okay, so now we got it going. And minus eight would be our eighty percent load. Can you run me through the numbers of what the red would mean if it's yep. with the blue would mean? So these are just visuals right here. So we're on safety factor. Red means you're in a failure zone below 1.0 safety factor and uh, you know so you, you your safety that and that's your safety factor is your um allowable stress divided by the stress that you're seeing so a 1.0 my allowable stress would be the same as what i'm seeing okay if 
your allowable stress is higher than what the stress applied is, of course, that's good, right? That's a safe design. And so this just, this just gives you a color. Red is bad. You don't have any safety. As a matter of fact, it's dangerous. Blue is good. It's very safe. And so this helps you understand where the problem is. Okay, so the problem is all right at this edge, but it's still pretty good, 1.86, and then we'll keep going up. Okay? So, I'm going to I'm going to go over all of those tools again, and then you can recreate this one and see what it looks like. So the first thing to do, and you don't need this anymore because you don't need that one. I'm going to get rid of it. It doesn't do anything. Okay? So the first thing to do is to hollow it out. And that's the shell command. Let me stop this one and do one straight from scratch again. Okay? So I'm just going to delete that. So here we go. File, save as, 009 stress analysis. The first thing to do is hollow it out. And you don't know exactly how much, and I don't care exactly, but it's the shell command. And you make a shell of the object, and you're going to remove this front face. Click. Remove that front face. And then it's probably, you just look at it visually and just make sure that you've got, you know, it's like the aluminum skin of a wing. And it'll make a little bit of a difference, but we don't really care. They'll probably all be in the 0.25 range. <coughs> so now we have the part. Okay. Now we need to make that little break. So I'm going to make a sketch on this front surface. And I just need some sort of a little, this has to overlap a little bit. And that just makes a break in the surface when I extrude it. So there's the extrude button. Click. And go get the other one. Click. And then make it go backwards. And go all the way. Enter. There we go. Now that top surface will be truly a top surface. So I'm going to save that again. Okay, the next thing is to go to the stress analysis and create a new study. Okay. And we have to assign a material and we're going to choose an override material of 6061 AHC. Very typical aircraft quality. Okay, and then we're going to fix one end, right? That's where it's going to be attached to the airplane, right there. And then we're going to put a pressure on it. And you're going to play around with that pressure. And I'm going to put it at that minus 10. And that'll probably be okay. But you're going you're gonna to play around with that pressure so that at the 100%, the safety factor is between 1 and 3. So now let's run it. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Why it's uh, yeah, I know that. 
I don't know why it's having such a hard time this time. There it goes. Thinking some more. I think once it does the first one, it's a little bit easier, but. So now the trick is, right, we know what those percent forces are. And the programmer is going to be able to compare that out. So it will read the percent force and will also then know the, um, the safety factor that we've got. So that somebody can't just overdo this thing. Wow, this is really taking a long time to crank. Oh, this time I got a large one. wonder why that is. So this time, I don't know why, probably because of that other thing that we had. It's like it's a little too thin. I had minus 10 before, didn't I? Wasn't that the pressure I had before? Let's go ahead and um, that was a little too much. So you'll you'll go through it a few times. And so let's go with do another simulate and just see. Did I did I shell it at point two five last time? I can't remember if you did that or did you? So you can play with it to either play with the play with the loads or play with the amount of shell that you've put on it. here there we go so that looks pretty good right i'm between one and three on my safety factor okay so that would be your 100 percent load and you would just and and really all all we want now is we want a snip of this And you could call it, let me put it somewhere where we can keep it. All right, let's give it a name. One, two, three, four, nine. Safety factor. 100%. Now we know exactly what that picture means, and we can go back and we can get that. So then you'll take, uh, you'll redo the pressure. Double click on it. 
and that was minus 1, so minus 0.9. We run, and you'll just do this all the way down the line. 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, dum, and then we'll be able to take that data and, and add it to the CSV that Dina is working with. So that she can show not just the force, but she can show the stress on the wing. We're really getting a cool thing now. Anytime I put a different percentage than we previously did, there's a snippet of it? Or... Yep. Yep. Exactly. That's exactly what we're looking for. And so you'll probably, I'm on VMware. You can see I'm on VMware. Okay, so, and once this is done, I'll show you we can put it in a place to upload it. So here's the safety factor again. So this time I'm at 2.27. I don't remember what I was at last time. 2.04. Okay, and so you'll just keep doing that as you go, and you can open it up and come back into it and do all sorts of stuff, right? So once it's like this, if I just open up the stress analysis again, it's there. It's there for you. But I want you to be able to learn how to do this shell command and how to basically just break this surface so that it's not all one continuous surface. Okay, and then you can just go in, assign, fix an end, put on the pressure, and simulate. And then once we've got those, right, they're going to go, let's make a new folder here. So let's do stress. And this one's going to be for o o o three or four, four of them, right? Something like that. And now I can go ahead and load those two up. But you're gonna you're gonna do your own, right? You won't. You'll you'll basically just ignore these. Yeah. Uh. But just to show you how to do it. But then you can see how easy it's going to be, right? We'll just march right through these, take this number, right? Go to the next one, take the number, go to the next one, take the number, and then we can just fill out that CSV. And then you can do a little bit of work on the CSV to calculate intermediate ranges. Cool? But this is essentially what happens. And Inventor actually has a thing that goes through this in its own AI version and um, it recreates a file for you. It'll, it'll actually redesign your, your part for you, but that's not what we're trying to get at. So we can't use their automatic thing we have to do it one at a time, bang, 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 and just go through and get these. And the reason I want these images is I think we're going to um, be able to post these images too, so they can exactly see what was what what it was like. Cool. Does that give you enough to work on for a week? Okay, about how much time do you have this week, do you think? Uh, uh, just an hour. Thursday, oh, uh, I think Thursday's probably like four to eight hours. Four to eight hours? Yeah, okay. I can, crank in, I can crank in four today and four tomorrow. 
Say that a little louder. I can really barely hear you. Oh, sorry. Since I, the mic dangles too far away, it's hard. To yeah. Hear. Uh, I can crunch out four today and four tomorrow. Okay, that'd be that'd be great. And so it'll probably take you, you know, that to get one of these done if you've never used this before. But I've got this video for you, and I'm gonna post it over to you, so that um, so that you can get it. Okay. So I'm going to stop the recording now.